Oh, Donna told me backstage that you almost like gave up, like you almost didn't audition for this. You didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Like, why? Oh, fear. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Fear I, of rejection. Another yeah, fear successful of... franchise. Well, no, I mean, listen, this is. <laughs> yeah, that's right. If I knew, trust me, I, I uh, back then, if I knew then what I know now, it, I, I wouldn't have felt so much fear. But uh, the, I was in this sort of cloud of uncertainty, and it. As an actor, you're constantly redefining who you are based on how people perceive you or how they receive you in the business. And I had auditioned for so many roles that were written as the heroic leader of the group, and it, whether it be a Marvel movie or any of these other studios that were releasing these big budget movies that required an actor of my age, of my ilk, that had the it factor, it was all written in there. And I would go and audition, I wouldn't get callbacks, yeah. I would sweat through them and I, was, I would fail over and over again. So. I got to the point, and I was doing Parks and Rec at the time, I was a little chunkier, a little sweatier. I was like, <laughs> maybe this is the, where, the avenue for yeah, me. You know, I'm sure. working, I'm not working as a waiter anymore. This is perfect. And, and I thought I would be that guy for a while, but then uh, I, to my chagrin, I, I finally went in to audition for Guardians of the Galaxy, and thank God I did, because it changed my life. Yeah, wow. we're all five.